Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com and sign up for my RSS feed so you're sure to get the latest Excel blog post directly in your inbox. Okay, uh, today we have a user that wanted to know how to make a dynamic Excel pie chart for their dashboard. Uh, this is not too much more tricky, but there is a little bit of change from the normal uh, offset videos that I showed on how to make dynamic charts. Uh, so let's take a look. So here we have some data. Uh, the data runs January, February, March. Well, pie charts typically uh, are only one series. So it might be January, or it might be February, or it might be March. So um, you always sort of have uh, categories and then you have data. Uh, but as you, the, the user wanted to add April, and have the pie chart change. So um, I've gone ahead and show and created this, and we'll show you how to make it next. But as soon as I type in April, uh, 345, 654, 333, and 222, you'll notice that the pie chart changes now. There's two things that we need to do in order to make this pie chart change. Um, the first is we need to change the chart title. So as you see in my data set over here, I've actually added a cell for the title of the chart. I'll show you how to create that. Then we also need to change this series so that it advances to the next data point in your data set. So uh, let's go ahead and delete everything real quick. And we're going to show you how to make that from start to finish. Okay, so um, first things first is uh, go ahead and set up your data kind of like this. You know, we've got to organic, direct, referral, uh, maybe embedded. Uh, January, February, March, we've got data points for each of those. And we have a total. Um, we're not going to use the total in the pie chart because the sum of uh, these four equal the total. All right, first what we need to do is we need to create our title month for the chart title. Click in cell C1 type in the offset formula. So this is offset equals offset. And we need a reference point. So I like to start over here in A3. And let's go ahead and make that a absolute reference. And uh, that's where we're going to start our offset formula. Uh, we hit comma. Now we don't want to go down any rows. So I'm just going to hit uh, comma there again. However, columns, what we want to do is we want to move to the last data point in this row 3. Uh, so E, when we type in April, would be how many columns we need to move. So what we'll do is when we add data like April, we need it to count everything in this row. And that's how far we want it to advance for the columns. So let's do count A, since they're alpha and not numeric values within row 3. And we want it to actually look at row 3. Let's make that an absolute reference as well. Uh, and then the height, we want it to return one cell, cell E3 here. Uh, so we're just going to do one cell, which is one uh, height and one width. End your parentheses and hit enter. Look at that. It has gone and out and found that March is the last one. If I type in April, it changes my chart title uh, that we're going to link to April. If I add May, May is now the current chart title. So there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to create our pie chart. Um, but before we do that, we have to create a named range for the offset formula that is going to find the next data point as you add it next to your chart series. So what we need to do is go up to our formula ribbon and we want to do a defined name. So let's define the name and we're going to call this current data 2. Remember you don't want to put any spaces in your name or Excel will have a problem. And then the refers to section, this is where we need to write our offset formula. So equals offset and we're going to start over here on A4 which is the first row that we're going to have numbers in our data. Make that absolute values by putting the dollar signs in there. Hit comma. Um, now how many rows do we want to go down? Well, uh, we actually don't want to change the reference point down any rows, so we're going to put a comma in there. Now columns. Um, we want to move it over as many columns as there are data points. So what we'd want to do there is count anytime there are numbers, and we want to count row 4. 
Let's go ahead and end that parentheses. Now our next part of our operation is what's our height going to be? Uh, we've kind of got a static height here. So one, two, three, four. So we can just put in four as our height. And how wide would it be? It's just one column wide. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Click on OK. We can go check in our name manager on our formula ribbon and actually take a look at current data too. And if we come back in here, we click in this offset function. Look, it has found that the final row of uh, column of data is March. And uh, let's hit escape out of that. Let's type in April. And we're going to do 555, 555, 555. Let's go back to the name manager and look at current data too. If we click in this refers to box, Look at that, it's moved from March over to April because it's finding those new values in April. Okay, let's close out of that. We've created our name. Uh, I'm going to delete this April data. Now let's go create our chart. So what we first want to do is just highlight only one row and column of data. Uh, to, or, I'm sorry, the categories and then one column of data uh, to plot since it is a uh, pie chart. We want to go to our insert ribbon. We want to come over here to the pie chart and create a 2D pie chart. Let's move that over here so that you can see a little better. It's created it for January. Well, we want it to be the absolute last one. And we have created this chart title here. Uh, and so we want to click on our chart title, hit the equal sign, and then click on cell C1 and hit enter. So now it's got March in there as our title. And as that changes over here in cell C1, uh, as new data is entered, this will update automatically. Now, since we've got the chart selected, we want to go to our design ribbon. And then in our design ribbon, there is a select data dial uh, button in the data group. And it's going to say select data source. We don't want to do it here because this Excel will not be able to use to find names in this one. We actually need to edit this individual series, this legend entry series. Click on January and click edit. Series name, uh, we can call this uh, current data. And then down here in the series value, we want to leave equal sheet, in my case, sheet three, and the exclamation point. Because uh, for the defined name to work in here, uh, Excel actually does ne it needs uh, a reference point to the sheet or the uh, actual uh, uh, workbook that you've created. But I can delete the reference that's static in there right now. And we want to add in that named range we created, current data 2. If we click on OK and click on OK again, uh, you can see right now it is actually March data because, look, it's grabbed column D now. It was January before. It's moved over to column D. And if I click into the actual rows of my spreadsheet and type in April, notice the title has now changed. If I had 222, 222, 333 and 444. You'll notice that the chart is updating with the current dynamic range that we've created for this Excel pie chart. So a couple of few simple steps there. You can visit my blog and learn a lot more about the offset function and formula. You can also learn about other ways to create dynamic charts using offset functions, tables, and everything. Uh, you can find that at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Please also sign up for my YouTube channel and visit us next time. Thank you.